Hello students, welcome back to the online classes. I am going to discuss with you about the third poetry of your English textbook that is On Children ever written by Khalil Gibran. Dear students, the present poetry on children is a philosophical one of this poet and in this poetry, in this poetry, the poet Khalil Gibran uses to explain the duties of the parents and the duties of the children. So before we are going to start the poetry, I would like to introduce the information about the poet in front of you. Yes, my dear students. The poet or the speaker Khalil Gibran he was a Lebanese and American artist and poet. Yes, my dear students, he belongs to both countries, Lebanon country and American country. Yes, that means he was a bilingual poet. Dvibhasha, Dvibhasha Kavi. Okay, see, and he belongs to both countries, Lebanon, Lebanon and America. Okay, United States of America. So, he was, he was... Lebanese and American artist and poet and my dear students his poems on children or maybe others the total is poems is poems are considered they are considered as poetic essays his poems are considered as a poetic essays try to understand the word of poetic essays yes my dear students the word poetic essay means essay means prabandha poetic essay means kavyatmaka prabandha anthe karitave hagidre his poems are considered as poetic essays because for the best example, I suggest you to observe the third poetry on children poetry just before your eyes. Look at the poetry. The poetry is not set by structure. The poetry is not set by any rhymings. The poetry is not a short poetry by the quality or the quantity of the length. That means it has no any features which explains as should be poetry that means yes the see the lines see the creation of the lines of that poetry those lines are considered as the writings of essay ayella salugalana ondu sati gamanisi padyadolugina salugalana aa salugal hege kanasuttave andre prabandhada salugalu kandan kanutave so akarnakagi for that reason his poems are considered poetic essays kavyatmaka prabandhagalu anthe heli karitave and my dear students yes i have already explained you that his poems are not usual versification his poems are not usual versifications they do not give the reference of any clear poetry see my dear students they are not looking like the usual poetry how they look like? They look like poetic essays. So they do not give the usual sense of versification. They do not give the usual feel of that poetry. You kavite tara feel kodudilla. Okay? See, I my dear students, the prophet, the prophet. It is his best work, best known work. Whose work? Khalil Gibran's work. My dear students, the prophet, it is his best known work. And the work of the prophet, it is translated into minimum 25 languages of the world. Jagatina, Ippat Thaidu Bashi Galige, Adena Gide Bashantra Gundide, Yaudu Antandre, the prophet, including Kannada. Mukhiva Gelvanta, the importantly, we are going to say that it is translated into Kannada also, my dear students. Okay, yes, there is available, there is available uh, the explanation of the poetry in the Kannada language also. Yes, I and my dear students, the present poetry on children, on children, it is a selection, it is a selection. It is an excerpt, excerpt, Aida Bhaga, Idundu, Aike Bhaga, Yaudrinda, the prophet. 
ಇಟ್ ಈಸ್ ಅ ಸೆಲೆಕ್ಷನ್ ಫ್ರಾಮ್ ದ ಪ್ರಾಫಿಟ್ ದ ಪ್ರಾಫಿಟ್ ಎನ್ನುವಂಥ ಒಂದು ಕಲೆಕ್ಷನ್ ಆಫ್ ಪೊಯಿಟ್ರಿಯಿಂದ ಈ ಒಂದು ಪೊಯಿಟ್ರಿಯನ್ನು ಏನು ಮಾಡಲಾಗಿದೆ ಅಂತಂದರೆ ಸೆಲೆಕ್ಟ್ ಮಾಡಿಕೊಳ್ಳಲಾಗಿದೆ ಆ್ಯಂಡ್ ದ ಪ್ರೆಸೆಂಟ್ ಪೊಯಿಟ್ರಿ ಆನ್ ಚಿಲ್ಡ್ರನ್ ಇಟ್ ಎಕ್ಸ್ಪ್ಲೈನ್ಸ್ ಅಸ್ ಇದು ನಮಗೆ ಹೇಳುತ್ತದೆ ಏನು ಏನೆಂದು ಹೇಳುತ್ತದೆ ಅಂದರೆ ಇಟ್ ಎಕ್ಸ್ಪ್ಲೈನ್ಸ್ ಅಸ್ ದ್ಯಾಟ್ ಯಸ್ ಲೆಸನ್ ದ ಯೂಶುವಲ್ ಎಕ್ಸ್ಪೆಕ್ಟೇಷನ್ಸ್ ಆಫ್ ಪ್ಯಾರೆಂಟ್ಸ್ ಆನ್ ದೇರ್ ಚಿಲ್ಡ್ರನ್ the usual expectations of parents on their children it just does give the information of that uh, picture okay see how in this universe how in this universe the parents are going to expect something from their children and what they are going to expect from their children this is what the present poetry gives us the beautiful clarification and the beautiful explanation see my dear students before i am going to start the poetry i just would like to discuss with you about the some introductory part okay see yes come on tell me my dear students what do what do your parents expect from you nimminda nimma palakaru yenannu nirikshya maduttare yes our parents our parents can expect from us that we should be good citizen and we should be appointed as the government as government employees we should be the helper of needy and we should be human beings and we should not interfere any we should not interfere in any quarrel or we should not interfere in any case and many more and many things and many more see these all are the common expectations of parents of their children and the present poetry it just it just goes one more step of these expectations from these expectations of parents ee ella bayakegala orthagiyu innondu bayake bagge maatadutade prastuta kavite adenu yes of course the parents in this universe they expect of their children the children should be as them should be as them and the children should be with them and the children should listen their words and the children should listen should obey the orders of the parents these are the common and basic expectations of the parents towards to the children and in the next part what do the children what do the children expect of their parents makkalu tamma palakrinda yenannu nirikshya madutare yes i can't say that because there are so many expectations for the children uh, expecting from the parents of course thumba bayakegalu irutte thumba aasegalu irutte yes of course if the children want to buy the cell phones the parents must give them the parents must purchase for them if the children want to buy the bicycles or motor bicycle of course the parents should provide that and if the children want to go somewhere the parents should permit them and if the children want to play some sports or you know what some games the children should allow them and if the children want to make want to make the love for any girl even the children must accept them and like these expectations we are going to see the many expectations of children towards towards their parents makkalige nurhar baikegalu irutte of course and making comparison of these expectations of parents and children whose expectations are strong and whose expectations are determined here yara nirikshagalu satya yara nirikshagalu mithya 
whose expectations are truly right and whose expectations are not truly right yara baikegalu sari yara baikegalu tappu for this information we must study we must put the bright on this poetry okay yes my dear students this is what the introduction of the poetry and uh, the subject matter of this poetry is the expectations of parents towards to their children palakara baikegalu makkal mele annuvanta vichara ee prastuta kavithe ilide on children on children on children means makkal mele yenu the expectations of parents and here uh, the poetry begins with a woman the poetry begins with a mother okay a mother who 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 held the babe against her bosom and who approaches who approaches the prophet to speak of her children ಒಬ್ಬ ತಾಯಿಯ ಮೂಲಕ ಪ್ರಸ್ತುತ ಕವಿತೆ ಪ್ರಾರಂಭ ಆಗುತ್ತೆ ಆ ತಾಯಿ ಒಬ್ಬ ಪ್ರಾಫಿಟ್ ಹತ್ರ ಹೋಗಿ ದ ಪ್ರಾಫಿಟ್ ಮೀನ್ಸ್ ಒಬ್ಬ ಪುರೋಹಿತ ಒಬ್ಬ ಅರ್ಚಕ ಒಬ್ಬ ಧರ್ಮ ಪಂಡಿತ ಒಬ್ಬ ಪೂಜಾರಿ ಒಬ್ಬ ಭವಿಷ್ಯ ಸೂಚಿಸುವ ವ್ಯಕ್ತಿ ಒಬ್ಬ ದೈವ ಸಂಭೂತಿ ವ್ಯಕ್ತಿ ಸೋ ಮೆನಿ ಟರ್ಮ್ಸ್ ದೇರ್ ಆರ್ ಸೋ ಮೆನಿ ಟರ್ಮ್ಸ್ ಫಾರ್ ದಿಸ್ ವರ್ಡ್ ಓಕೆ ಸಿ ಮೀಡಿಯ ಸ್ಟೂಡೆಂಟ್ಸ್ ಅ ಮದರ್ ಅ ಮದರ್ ಶಿ ಕ್ಯಾರೀಸ್ ಶಿ ಕ್ಯಾರೀಸ್ ಅರ್ ಚಿಲ್ಡ್ರನ್ ವಿತ್ ಹರ್ to a prophet to the prophet and she requests she appeals to that the prophet to speak of the to speak of her children tana makkalanna karkond hogi obba poojari hatra nanna makkala bhavishya edri ant heli avlu keltale she feels she feels to ask you know what the future uh, of those children from that prophet so she requests she appeals she appeals she approaches that prophet and she uh, you know what she requests of that uh, the prophet to speak something about her children okay ya yeah, uh, prophet en heltane enilla anuvantadana next class alli nodana we shall stop here continue on the next class keep watching my videos if the sound is not clear use earphones thank you bye